So guys, I have done a lot of research and I have noticed that a lot of professional drummers, um, the likes of Calvin Rogers, Devon Taylor, Dave Reco, and the others, all have daily routines that have helped them grow on the drums. Today, I'm going to be sharing um, a few tips and habits you should do and follow consistently to become a successful drummer. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. My name is Blessing Ibrahim. So one of the first um habits that these professional drummers do is articulating goals and purposes when i say goals and purposes it means long-term and short-term goals a lot of professional and exceptional drummers always have goals these goals have, have given them directions and that's why they are always exceptional to become a professional drummer you need to write down um, realistic goals to guide and give you a direction of where you are going where you would like to see yourself in 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 six months in a year in two years in five years write down the things you need to improve on another habit you need to learn is to calculate the amount of time you can realistically spend practicing you see practicing every day at the same time is very effective one thing drama should understand is that there's a huge difference between practice and rehearsals you need to know where you are to separate your practice from your playing what i mean is that you need to know when you are working on things to improve on and when you are actually playing for fun a lot of drummers make this mistake by trying to do one long practice and then they can go for weeks without practicing if you have really long activities it will be very difficult for you to stay um, consistent at practicing what you need to do create a schedule for um, five days of a week and then try to at least practice for 10 to 15 minutes maximum daily make sure it's at the same time every day this is very effective it has helped me a lot if i'm practicing if i practice today at 2 p.m and i practice for just 15 minutes i'll try as much as possible to practice at the same time tomorrow for 15 minutes this method would help you stay consistent at your practice sessions another thing you need to do to become successful in drumming or to become a successful drummer is to track your progress yes you need to write down your overall practice sessions such as the tempo you started with the tempo you are struggling at this would help you have an effective Another, practice um point is practicing with backing tracks practicing with loops metronome and recordings yes this is very important to um drummers there are a lot of drummers who can play very well like they can play very well but once you turn on a metronome or you turn on a backing track it becomes a challenge they begin to struggle playing with a metronome or playing to a backing track for you to become a successful drummer a professional drummer you need to take this part seriously so that you can be able to play with other professional musicians and you can be able to play in a professional band um, um obviously to become a professional drummer or to become successful in drumming is actually not very easy because there are times where you won't feel motivated you won't feel inspired you you don't feel the urge to practice you are just uh, sometimes depression can come a lot of things can happen to just uh, make you feel not to feel the urge to practice or to take drumming seriously right it is normal for every drummer to feel this way so if you find yourself in such situations um the thing you can do that i have done that has helped me over time um, every drummer definitely has someone who they are looking up to like a mentor there are other aside from even a mentor there are other drummers you look up to that inspire you so you can go back to watching your favorite drummer's video or you can watch interviews of drummers who have been successful or exceptional drummers you can watch their interview in order to get yourself motivated this has happened to me several times whenever i feel um down i don't feel the urge to practice or i don't feel inspired at all i just check out few of my favorite drummer i just watch their videos i keep watching their videos from time to time and then the urge to practice just another come. important aspect is getting a mentor or a teacher be it online or physically yeah you need somebody you can easily 
run to you need someone who you can easily look up to who you can ask questions who can give you the right informations yeah yeah um the internet is there to be our best friend whatever questions you need yeah you can always run to the internet but even at that you still need somebody you can easily um pour out your burdens you need somebody who you can seek um, music advice who can encourage you so yeah getting a mentor and getting a drum teacher a drum tutor is very important so when you put all these things i have said together trust me you're already on your way to becoming a successful drummer all you need to do is just try and be consistent follow the steps gradually so let me know in the comment section which of these tips you you feel you really need to take seriously thank you for checking out this video i really appreciate it i'll see you in my next video